Hi, my name is Cy Porter, and this is another free tutorial on film and animation. And I want to run you through an expression that I'm using. So what I have here is I have two compositions. I have the first composition is in a character's body that I have animated. I wanted, I animated the figure to look like it's swimming in air. And then I nested that composition in a new composition <clears throat> where I also brought in the character's head. And the character's head is an AVI, a video file. <clears throat> and I want to remap the body so that it moves slower than the head animation. And yet, I want the head to follow the neck around. So the body is moving around and right now in this composition the head is remaining still. So I can create a null object and I can type P to open up the position. Let's take the body composition and bring it over so it has its own window and if you look there are all these null objects that are controlling the movement of the body and I would like the head to follow the movement of the neck null object in the other composition but if you go into the After Effects help documentation. If you go to expressions and type in <clears throat> expression time, it says time within an expression is always a in composition time. That is, if I do any remapping, if I want to make the body move slower than the head and do remapping on it, and I Let's go ahead and make an expression for the null object in the main composition window. And we can go ahead and take the pick whip and pick whip the position of the null object in the body composition. And the effect that we get is basically, as you can see here, the head is moving on its own because the null object is following the time of the neck null object as if it has not been time remapped. So as if it is not, um, so as if it's has not been slowed down the way the body pre-comp has been slowed down in the main composition. So what we need to do is make sure that the time is remapped along with the remapping of this nested composition. So we need to change the expression around a little bit. And if you go back to that help page, you can you can find Thank you for watching this tutorial. It's made so that more people can be told about an illustrated film. Episodes of the film are posted at solomation.com. 
All episodes will be free, available to watch at solomation.com. The code. And basically what it is, is you want to designate that it isn't just the null object in that other composition, but that it is a null object in the nested composition. And in that way, After Effects knows that it needs to change the time along with the time change in the nested composition. And so with the code source, you know that it is going to change the time determined by the time changes you make with time remap. And so with that change to the expression, what you get is a head that will follow the neck around. So I can go ahead and I can speed up, slow down, make any time changes, you know, first speed up and then slow down the movement of the body in the main composition. And the head will automatically follow that movement because the head, another important thing is that you need to, this head layer, you need to take it and parent it to the null object that you have written the expression for. And so once I set that up, then no matter what speeding up or slowing down of the time remapping for the nested composition, the head is going to follow along. Hope that was helpful. And the expression code is in the comments. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. Please hit the like button. And please take the time to check out the animation adventure I'm working on at solomation.com. And I hope you have a great day.